Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 21. In this training tutorial, we're going to be exploring using the Data Log Viewer software from Haltech, which is going to be a secondary software that we can open up and review our data with that we've captured in our data logs. We learned how to do that in the last few tutorials. This is going to give us a further way to analyze our data alternate to the NSP software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our Data Log Viewer software from Haltech in this training tutorial for our Haltech Elite systems. Now, the Data Log Viewer software is a separate logging software, a data analysis software, from our NSP software. Now, we do all of our data logging, data capture in the NSP software, and then we can open up specific data log files here in the Data Log Viewer. This gives us an alternate way to review our data. It does have some benefits above and beyond what the NSP software is going to offer for looking at a data log. So, we're going to learn some of the basic in and outs here of our data log viewer software. I'm going to show you just how to create a project, how to save a project, how to go and save your workspace within the project so that if you want to go in and open up a data log, let's say for a project, a vehicle you're working with, you're able to rapidly open it up quickly. You can bring in the data log in very, very efficiently and everything will be laid out exactly how you want to see things and you don't waste time using this software. So let's jump in here and take a look at how we can work with this. Um, one thing I do want to mention is that the data log viewer software does work with a different file format in terms of the log files compared to the NSP software. So we know when we were capturing in the last two tutorials, we looked at both the onboard and the laptop logging. When we do a laptop or an onboard log, it captures a .hlg zip file. That file holds both the log and the calibration file, and we have the ability to open up both at the same time. This data log viewer software is actually a .csv, which is something you can open up in um, Microsoft Excel or other types of uh, software that look at CSV files. It allows you um, to, to open it up here in the software, and again, it's going to be something that's separate from the file type from the NSP. So anytime we do any laptop logging, anytime we do any onboard logging, we'll have both file types generated. So both a CSV and a .hlz zip file. So that's just one thing we've talked about when we were looking at creating the data logs and just going into the folders and seeing the different types of files. This is gonna be specific of what we open up here in the data log viewer. So um, let's jump in here and take a look at creating a project and then coming in and opening up a data log and then starting to take a look at how we can plot things here on screen. So the very first thing within our software right here, we're gonna go up to the top, we can go to File and click on New Projects. This is gonna open up a new project. The project's gonna be associated to the vehicle you're working with. So this is the same idea as starting a new project in the NSP software. So we have a new project open here. What's the next step? Well, we're gonna go up here into our Add Log to the Current Project. When I click on this, it allows me to go into my log folders here, project folders, and open up data logs I want to look at. So in this case, we can see that it's going to be located here under Documents, Holtec, Nexus Maps, and Data Logs, and then we have all of our project folders. So if we pop in here to something like Mazda Arc 7, and we look at our structuring here, we have Auto Backup, Auto Logs, and then Logs. And here, it's going to specifically be taking a look for our CSV logs. So we can see this is all PC logs that I have in my folder here, and these are all in that CSV file format. If I went into the NSP software, I would find the exact same log naming here, but it wouldn't be in a CSV that it would look for. It would look for a .hlg zip file. So those files are not compatible here with the data log viewer software, as I was mentioning before. It's just CSV files, but we see we can capture the same files and review them and open them up here in the data log viewer software. It's just in a different file format. So I'm actually gonna skip out of here and I'm just gonna go up to the top of my directory here. I have a folder that I just used for some examples so we can take a look at. This is a 2JZ VVTI engine I was working with a client on and we have two different files in here. Now both are .csv files, doesn't matter which one we open up here. So I'll go ahead and click on this second file and click open. It's gonna allow me to open up a data log in here in my actual project. Now this is a new project, we haven't saved anything, we've done anything yet. What I'm gonna do here, just give this a second, I'm gonna go right click in here and do remove this trace page so we can start off fresh. So what we're finding here is that we have all these different channels that have been loaded into 
the data load. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.